Folks, we need to talk about Marjorie Taylor Greene filing uh, to vacate the chair to have uh, uh, Mike Johnson removed as speaker. Th this insanity that the Republicans are engaged in is it's just it's too much. It's just too much. I mean, if you look at everything in the in, in the big picture, not just this this stupidity, let's look at all of it. You know, in the last year, they passed 27 bills. To give you a point of reference, your average Congress passes anywhere from three to 600 bills. And of the 27 bills they passed, three of them were renaming buildings. Four of them were just so that the lights didn't turn out. And speaking about that, you know, we've had more craziness uh, with, with passing a funding bill. The government just shut down. The government shut down. Republicans went on vacation for a couple weeks, didn't work on funding the government, came back, didn't work on funding the government, last minute, got a bill pushed through on the last, very last day. But they waited so long that when it got to the Senate, it had to go to the Senate and go through all of their process. And, and kudos to Schumer for just blasting that through. But it got to the desk after the midnight, the president's desk after the midnight deadline. So, yeah, we, we had, albeit a short one, we had another government shutdown because Republicans just can't be bothered to do their job. You know, let's let, let's talk about that. Let's talk about their first of all, what do we pay them? $174,000 a year. And Republicans just aren't bothering to do anything. They're just not doing their job. Not just $174,000 a year, they get about 15 staff members in their office. Great benefits. Travel, they get paid travel. Nice gig if you can get it. But they can't be bothered to actually do any work. And, and the things that they do want to do, you know, they're talking about cutting Social Security. They're talking about cutting Medicaid. They're getting paid for a no-show job, and they want to cut Grandma Social Security and Medicaid? Really? That, that's what you're focused on? And it's just constant, constant chaos. You know, even the, the border, you know, you hear them all the time, border, 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 border. It's so much that we got border boredom. I don't know about you, but I'm sick of hearing about the border. You know, in the Senate, they did the work. They produced a bill. It's full of what Republicans wanted. It cuts cuts quotas. It cuts, you know, it, it hires judges, hires staff to 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 actually help fix the immigration system. Pays for real technology to to cut down on drug smuggling and and you know things like backscatter radar to 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 be able to search trucks efficiently. And it just it was, it was a good bill that they were talking about. I mean, there was a lot of really good things in that bill. Republicans won't pass it. They just won't do the work. $174,000 a year, and they just won't do the work. They think, they think playing politics is their job. It's not their job, folks. Playing part of politics is part of it because you have to get reelected. But it's not your job as a congressman. Your job as a congressman is to do the work that keeps our government functioning. And they can't even be bothered to do that for $174,000 a year. And, you know, it's not just Social Security. It's not just the border. Not, not, not just the border. You've got Ukraine. You've got a land war in Europe right now. And our president... And the heads of every European nation is doing everything they, they can to keep this from expanding. And folks, these it's, it, read a history book. 
it's really easy for these things to just start hopscotching, border to border to border to border. Next thing you know, we're in World War III. But they can't even be bothered just to pass funding for Ukraine. We've got a humanitarian crisis going on in the Middle East. Can't fund that. Can't can't do the work on that. I mean, $174,000, and they, they just can't be bothered to show up and do that. It's just one thing after another after another with them. And then, you know, this chaos. Forty Marge, the elevator flatulator, filed this because Mike Johnson made a deal with Democrats to fund the government. Just the most basic thing. Just just keep the lights on. You know, pay pay the bills. That that was it. They can address anything they want going forward if they bothered to show up for work. Anything that they wanted to, to pass or do, they could do. They, they, they it's a slim majority, but it's a majority. They could do the work going forward, but now nah, we're going to have this chaos again before the entire world. And folks, you know, I, I don't mean to, you know, be a fear monger here, but we have crises growing, not just Ukraine, not just the Middle East, just our neighbor, our good neighbor to the south, Mexico. Mexico City is going to run out of water. You're talking about a city of over 20 million people. It's going to run out of water this summer. I want you to think about what's going to happen as far as the immigration in that is concerned. I mean, that's really happening, folks. Google it. Mexico City will be out of water this summer. What are they going to do? You know, that's going to cause the price of water down there to skyrocket. And people are going to start fleeing Mexico City. We know that's going to happen. We don't have to wait until a disaster happens. We could be working on that. Democrats would be working on that right now. You know, think about the scale of that humanitarian crisis. 20 plus million people losing water. And Republicans can't be bothered to show up to work. Our own infrastructure bill. We passed an infrastructure bill where things are being done here in the United States. Republicans all voted against it. Now they're going back to their red districts and, and, and claiming credit for what they voted against. Uh, and let me ask you, if you live in a red district and Democrats are delivering for you, and your Republicans are voting against the infrastructure that we're putting into your district, why is your district a red district? It's time for some reality, folks. It is. It's time for a change. And it feels like it. It feels like a sea change. None of the usual nonsense, the make-believe, fake agit prop down at the border, none of that. I mean, the border's just, again, border boredom. <sighs> It's over for Republicans. Nobody's buying the shtick anymore. Vote blue, folks. Vote blue. And you're about to see a commercial from Midas Touch. Help them out. They're real independent media telling you real things that are really going on. Where else does anybody else talk to you like that? So Texas Paul out. Love you folks. Have a good day. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.